Hello people, how are you all doing? Jace Volume here, and uh, welcome to part 3 of Jack and... Uh, what am I... And welcome to Jack 2, I mean. I was listening to Jack and his recursive links, and I'm like, what am I talking about? This is the sequel. So, as I... What happened before was... We just went down over here to the south end of the city, Haven City, and so... And we've just gotten the gun, the scatter gun. I was about to say is four guns each one shows off a different with, with between the eco hold on there we need to teach you how to use this baby the scatter gun is a good short range weapon with a wide field of fire to fire the weapon press the trigger Some it's very easy to use controls in this game it's just nothing but this It's all so easy to use the controls over here. Just a minute. Use the directional pad to select the weapon that you want. That's pretty much it. And now all you have to do is pretty much dr training to use the gun and other stuff. So you have to shoot all the things that look like a metal head. But if you hit some of the uh, ones that are civilians, which is about to show up real soon, like right there, you shoot that one, you're going to get penalty of uh, losing the cell points that way. So, you're gonna have to be extra careful not to shoot him. Get out of here. Get out. No, 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 no. Yeah, I am trying to shoot as many of these guys as I, you can. Ooh. No, no. No. Oh, come on. I did not mean to hit the citizen one. Now, that is just bull. No. Oh, wait. Who cares? It's very easy to go and get the full points right there, it's nothing but freaking, oh shit, all you gotta do is get like 3,000 and then after that you have to be sure to get some, uh, and there it is, bronze, so the higher points you get, the more, the more points you get, the more rewards you'll get for like precursor orbs that's pretty much what you get after each one there's a bronze a silver and a gold so there's like four of these guns but only two is necessary to use to continue on the story the other two is just like extras that you get from uh, how did you miss that how did i miss that no the other two is pretty much extra points to get from like precursor orbs no, 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 come on, get out of here! It's gonna be a lot tougher right now. It will be a lot more tougher right now because it. I've never gotten the gold in the. Uh, for the scatter gun. Never. The, um, uh, the last two guns are so easy to get gold. And, yep, I'm not even going to get the bronze, either. Oh, oh, never mind, I got the bronze! Never mind, I got the bronze, I jinxed myself. Whoops. So, yeah, that, that was just pretty much an easy take to go on to that. I mean, there's, like, another three, a blaster, which uses, like, a yellow... Yellow bullet or a yellow ammo clip, like... The yellow eco from it. The first game, it red is like for the red eco. It, blue for the third gun, the Vulcan Fury, which, which again, spoilers as, as I might say. Excellent shooting, Jack. Never thought about being a wastelander. Hmm. Can't say that I have. Wastelanders find items from the outside the city walls, eh? Any artifact or weapon worth having comes through my hands. Work for me and I'll throw some of the sweeter items your way. Kill metalheads? Get toys? Sounds good to me. Slow down, Jack and a fat man. You two had better run that by me again. Cause there's no way I'm going outside the city to face more metalheads! Sig will show you the ropes. So you want to be wastelanders, huh, do boys? Well, we'll see what you're made of when we get out in the thick. Crew wants some new trophies to put butts in chairs at the hip hog, so I'm gonna bag him five nasty metalheads at the pumping station. Don't wet your fur, Chili Pepper, cause we're rolling with the Peacemaker. Woo! I need one of those! 
Where'd you get it? Don't ask. Seek needs someone to watch his back while he tracks the metalheads, eh? We'll meet at the pumping station. Listen, Cherries. Don't you leave me dangling in the wind out there. Let's do it. All right, so as I was about to say before the cutscene went on, the, the blood for Vulcan Fury is pretty much a rapid-fire weapon. Like an automatic machine gun, fully auto. Which might add is the heaviest weapon in that game, but... Eh. It definitely has the same power as the uh, second gun, the blaster. The last one. It's just, it's the same weapon that Zin uses the Peacemaker, which you'll be able to see what it can do, but our version will be like a done, turned down version later on in the game. So as I'm just gonna try and fly by all the way to the opposite end of the city, I might as well just skip on the, skip the area just to, so I could go on right there. So I'll be talking to you guys when I'm near the, near the uh, entrance of the next bar. Yeah! Amazing parking job, right here. Alright guys, so I just came back. Back, yeah, but the drove look up, took about a minute or two, so it's like... Better skip through that to go to the main part that's important. And oh, there is Zig. Hello, cherries. Ready to hunt a few metalheads? Follow me, stick close, and watch my sis. It's gonna be fun. Here we go. Oh, it could have been fun until it gets annoying afterwards. In other words, if you fail this uh, mission, you're going to have to start all over again. And it's not fun when you were like so close to the ending. Zag! It's not so close. It's not so fun when you're so close to the ending of the mission and then you die knowing that you have to start all over. Or been too far away from Zig and it starts over. I'm back. This way. God, how much I really want a gun like that in this game. It's like, come on! And I can't use it! Whoa! Unfair! Get out of here. Just die already. And you. Come on. Toss those bad boys up ahead. Get out. Don't nope. Where is this? Oh yeah, he's probably just right there behind. Oh, ow! Get out of here. Thank you. Get out. Let's get across no. the bridge before they come back. Freaking hit me, really? Bullshit. There's our first target. Keep the other creatures back while I charge up the peacemaker. Alright, so in this entire mission you just have to kill all of those metalheads. Oh, cool. Five of them, so once all five is down, it will be. That's pretty much it. Which is easier said than done. That's one fried metalhead. Let's get to the next target. After each stage, it gets even tougher, so you're gonna have to be extra careful. You have to be extra, extra careful. Get out of here. I say, shoot first, ask questions later. There's the oh, damn. Cover me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this game can cause major frustration if you don't even know what you're doing. Like, oh god. And they're planning to start up pretty, getting pretty bad. Or. Baby. One less you know what, maybe I was talking about the PS2 version, Let's never start. mind. The PS2 version, that one was rough. It, there was like 10 or 15 of those things that comes out at you. So much. Get out of here. There's like so many of those creatures just get even worse every single time. Get out. There we go. Alright, so that's about two, which means there's about three more, I think. One, two, yep, three more. 
I, I'm gonna need to think because it's been so long. Like I have to think about every single part of this mission. And I just realized the, the high encoding when I was recording that. Damn, that was not. Oh shit! There we go. I just noticed the random high encoding when I was trying to look into the whole thing. I That's what I call blowing someone's mind. I might just at least show off the mini setup because it's simple, but it's it works for what I have, even though it's not really so advanced at all. Brace the suckers! Like out of all of my friends in the area, actually does have a setup. I'm pretty much going with the actual kind of setup. Yeah. Gotta thread the needle this time. Which is kind of sad, especially that it's really not all that good. Get out of here! And you too. Wait. That's it? There's usually more. <laughs> Metalhead well, you know what? I should definitely try and rebuy the PS2 versions then. Just look around it and just rebuy those and just compare them. Obviously, it's not going to look as good, but also just compare the difficulty. Because it definitely feels a lot easier than I remember. Oh yeah, it's definitely a lot easier than I remember. Okay, a friend of mine Thanks just called. Sorry about that. I had to answer it right in the middle of a Last recording. Yeah, this always happens back then, and now it's going to be happening even more now. That's the one thing I really do not want to deal with. People interfering with my recordings. It's the one thing I hated the most. Get up, get up. There we go. Home team five, metalheads nothing. That was the last one. Tell crew we got them all cooked and canned. I'm gonna clean Peacemaker and pick up the trophies. You did good, rookie. And now all this Zig's gonna do is just check out his gun and work with that. You could attack him, but he's just gonna shoot you back and you'll die. So, not such a good idea. I think that if I just walk back right now, he's... Oh, nope. If you go too far and then go back in, he's gonna be gone. Like, just go straight, like... This far, I think, that when you walk back in, he's just gone. Like, he just disappeared out of thin air. And... Yep. Zig's gone. He vanishes into thin air, so now I, all we gotta do is just go out and oh yeah, we have enough skull gems to get our first dark power. So, why not just go and visit the oracle and get the first dark power for dark gem? So trust me, it will be useful later on at times. If you get like so aggravated about one part or you just wanna finish off a little section quick, you're good to go. So just gotta go get a zoomer right here and just go on ahead. Uh, there is definitely a lot of missions. Like I have to say, there is a lot of missions to be doing in this game. From both the main and side missions. Even though the side missions is just about getting the cursor orbs. Dark bomb, like I said, so now I just have to jump up, jump, then square in the midair, and boom. That's all that it takes. Patrolling 
Sector so if you just move out and you just go back in, so he's gonna tell you how many skull gems you need now. And I need more skull gems. 200 skull gems. All to, all we had is 25, so now we have two, so 198 more. And yeah, that took a while to get. Luckily, in the next future missions, you will be getting oh a lot of uh, metal heads to kill afterwards so that's actually a plus right there but the negative is that these male heads does attempt to get a, be a bit tougher but not too tough so it'll be pretty simple now we're gonna have to fly all the way down back to the uh, saloon so i'm just gonna go and skip the skip on ahead to the next part when i get there i'll see you guys soon Okay guys, so here I am back in back in one piece. You see that? That's what I call a parking job. So here comes the next mission. You boys are turning out to be quite useful, eh? Mm, I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security devices. And before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. I bet you've hatched another brilliant plan in that hungry little brain of yours. So, who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, I need someone to go down and shoot every sentry gun in the sewers. And I'll give you a sweet weapon upgrade if you succeed. Let me guess. Dank murky water? Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest? Fuller of metal heads than your plate at a one-pass buffet? And of course, weapons more lethal than your ever so tidy whiteies on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Hole, why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy, and you go roto root the pipes? We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. Oh, I should have had you both kneecapped, eh? All I know is that the Baron cut a desperate deal with the Metalhead leader. Metalheads need Eco, so the Baron supplies them with regular shipments. In return, the Metalheads agree to attack the city just enough to satisfy the Baron's continued rule. Yeah, but how long can that deal last? Well, the Baron is running short on Eco, eh? And the Metalheads are short on patience. Baron Praxis needs this wall to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler on the throne. Wherever that little brat is. Daxter and I will clear your sewers. And we haven't forgotten about that weapons upgrade you promised in return. Bloodsuckers. Alright guys, so uh, there Sleepy we go. Apparently you've been recording for over 20 minutes, but yet yeah, due to my friend call, which will waste about another minute or two, and uh, this is unit the two Alpha. times I had We're to drive across the city and chose to cut that off, I'll do one more mission and probably get the weapon upgrade just to show it off, I guess. So, why not? So, so right now all I, all I have to do is to go into the sewer, so yeah. If you guys remember Infamous Sewer Job, yep, in this game there's a sewer job. Multiple of them. Like two. Remember, even your so there we go. And I will talk to you guys when I get there. Okay guys, so here I am back all the way over here down to the sewers, so there we go. And oh man. This is actually not that hard, at least now. Every single mission here is hard to be too. Still love it nonetheless. And here comes more of these creatures to just shoot down again. Get out. So pretty much all you have to do is to shoot down these turrets and be like, dancing out like a little ballerina. Whee! There we go. Can I see? That explosion! Okay, there we go. And... Get up! Nope! Oh, come on. No! Not gonna let that creature hit me over there. That's on the water. Come on, those stop! Ah! 
Get out of here. No. Oh, well, this place definitely seems safe. Let's go. Oh, crap. Uh, let's get out of here. Get out. Nope. Nope. You ain't gonna get me. Nope. Get out. And all my health is back. There we go. You guys get out. Ah! That was not supposed to happen. Good work so far. Alright, so now let's just go on ahead. And it's supposed to do it, it's supposed to do that. You know, I'm gonna make, finish this thing up fast. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Love doing that every time. It's like, uh, I just love using the dark bomb at one point because at least it gets rid of every single one of those creatures just like that. The mill hits all taken care of with one hit. Perfect. I will not lie, the dark jack is definitely like one of the best parts right now in this game, to be honest. Now, if I could just get rid of these little frogs. Ow! Really? Why do you have to shoot me? That's not fair. Uh, I have a problem with that, with that explosion thing. It's just so long. Like, why? And, yep. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Not something you get, get to see every day. Oh, no, no. No. You don't get to see that every day. Just freaking seeing the own, their own turret just freaking shooting against all your enemies right there. Get out of here! And of course, more metal hits. Nope. Get out. Nope. 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 That was. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. I just realized that. The Dark Kiko gauge is almost full already. Wow. Alright, then uh, I guess some uh, weird. Ah, I cannot. I just can still not talk well whenever I'm trying to play like this. It's definitely more difficult to try and do live commentating while playing. Well, commentating while. Sorry, you guys hear it a bit. But I mean, sorry. Ah. It's still difficult to try and play a game while commentating. It's going to take a while for me to get used to it. Even though I've been doing it for like several months right now and I still haven't gotten used to it, but oh well, now I'm gonna have to drive all the way back to the hip hog head saloon and just to see what's gonna be happening next. So there we go. So it's gonna be a pretty short ride, so I was like why not just go and drive all the way there instead. So there we go. Oh. Screw the big ones and the, that one will take a while. There we go. Now we're gonna get through a lot faster. Just bear with me. I mean, if I have not explained in the past video, I like the smaller vehicles better because at least there's more maneuverability and control in here. It's like so much better. The worst vehicle to uh, be driving is the large Hellcat Cruiser, like one of the big uh, Crimson Guard vehicles. Personally, like I hate using that vehicle to work, but my favorite is the smaller Crimson Guard vehicles. Personally, it's just so much better. Especially when you, there's a weapon in there, you don't have to waste your own ammo. Ugh, perfect. What is that horrible smell? Oh, great! We do your dirty work in the sewers and come back smelling worse than a wet hip hog in a warm barn. <laughs> this could have a serious impact on the lady factor. No. <laughs> I think it was my lunch, actually. Nice work in the sewers, eh? 
I guess you're looking for that weapon upgrade. Hmm. Well, there's a blaster mod stashed in some crates at the port. Find it, and it's yours. <laughs> All right, guys, so I guess I'm just going to end the video off right here. So the next time we're going to be starting off with getting the blaster mods, the second morph gun for the whole morph four set, morph gun set. So if you like, please hit a like. And if you want to comment, please comment. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And I will talk to you all later.